Hi, it me, Liam Lappin, back for the very first week of Painted Out Season 2. Uh, and we are here on the second coat today uh, to discuss the inspiration looks this week. And uh, this week with me, I have the incomparable, the ever so gorgeous Crystal Stars. Hello. Hi. How are you? I am doing great. I feel amazing. Uh, oh my God, how are you? I am very good. I'm very, very good. Um, so this week was inspiration. So it was a makeup artist or a work of art or whatever inspired the artist. And so it was a very broad category. And this week I went with uh, a Hercule Sleaze look, uh, Fabulous King. Hercules, and then I actually mashed it up with um, the inspiration for a lot of my FX makeup, which is Tom Savini. <laughs> so I did a Tom Savini beard on my Hercules mug. What about you? Look, you? you look, first of all, you look fabulous. Thank you. Uh, I went for a um, beautiful red, black, uh, blonde bombshell look. Um, mm -hmm. I'm serving you uh, what could have been a better version of my Rose Ball season two promo look. Yes. And so look at I, that. I feel glamorous and galvanized. I I feel like I can do anything. I am the queen. Yes, yes. And speaking of the queen, do you have any upcoming projects coming up? Uh, my web show, uh, The Fashion Recap, uh, starts, uh, it may already have started. It's uh, June 9th uh, on my YouTube channel. It's also available on my website. I'll be discussing the looks from RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Season 6 all season long with some amazing guests. Uh, I have Sweet Boy, I have Lola Rose, I have Sperm Donna. It's an amazing lineup. Uh, I won't say everybody, but yeah. And um, I, I might have some new music coming uh, at the end of the summer, so I'm really excited about that. And yeah, uh, I'm just, I can't wait to start performing again in bars. Uh, beginning of July, I have a show in Montreal, so I'm really excited about that. Yeah, it's really exciting having everything reopen and get to stretch our legs a little bit um, and not wear pajama bottoms. I will, <laughs> I will not show what I'm wearing at the bottom of my outfit. <laughs> um, okay, so with that being said, Crystal, are you ready to, oh, I'm ready to gush on some amazing artists? Yeah. Let's do this. All right. So uh, the very first uh, out of the gate this week was Bex. So uh, Bex did a moth inspired look, very nature inspired uh, and used paper to meld into her makeup, which is crazy. It's, I love the word breathtaking and I'm gonna use it right now. <laughs> We're gonna have a drinking game. Anytime Crystal says, <laughs> we take a little sip of our 7-Up, yes. <laughs> Breathtaking. <laughs> yeah, it is a beautiful, beautiful look. Um, I like the uh, fairy lights in the background. Um, like a moth to a flame, this look really does draw the eye. So I think Bex did a beautiful job this week. Great out of the gate look. Yeah, I need to add the, the fact that it's very difficult to do a dark eye, like put all black around your eye and still look captivate like still captivate the eye of like somebody's attention so great job bex on doing that because there's so there's so little but so much going on in this look it's uh very well done congrats all right so uh we're gonna go to aria quinn next uh she did an agape inspired look did i say that right yeah okay good <laughs> Help this old man out, Crystal. <laughs> but yeah, she uh, did uh, this really beautiful, um, I, I've always liked, and I say deity a lot because I just, the, the crown around the head, just the ethereal light thing going on and the, the gaze looking out into uh, the heavens. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful makeup and a beautiful pose. Yeah, it there's so much illusion going into that, but like into this look, like 
I can't do this. So like, I'm gonna, I'm all, it's breathtaking. It's breathtaking. Everyone take a drink. <laughs> yeah, it's just gorgeous. Like the halo, um, the fact that there's like cr the crack, cracks and crevices uh, mm -hmm. all around the, the body. It looks, it looks stunning. It is, it is it's very, very beautiful. Um, and Aria, I think you did an amazing job this week on, on that. And the thing that really does it for me, the, the makeup is great, but it's the, the blue in your eyes that just pops. All right, so let's see. We have Disastrous Doe. Wow. With, yeah, with a Metallica uh, semen and blood inspired look, which I love a good album cover look. Oh, Crystal, you all right, baby? Yeah, it's hot in here, babe. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful look. Um, and I like uh, the concept of it all. Um, taking an abstract piece and putting it on your face is incredibly tough. Um, and I think uh, disastrous dough. You pulled it off very well, dough. And also, I like it that you use the phrase meat sack in your uh, concept. I don't know if you listen to a certain podcast, and I'm not going to say the podcast, but if you do, hit me up. We can talk about some stuff. Uh, <laughs> but I do like the semen and the blood concepts. Um, it's very raw looking. It's gross. And I, I love a good bloody look. You, they took an, act, an abstract concept. They didn't take somebody. They took like an, an album cover. Like they took a drawing. Yeah. And inspired, and that's what inspired their look. Like you can't, like when you do that, something like that, you can't exactly do the same thing other, well, except that you just draw the exact same thing on your face, but put her, her, put her own spin on it and wow. All right, so we're gonna go over to Calliope Goth next, and uh, they did an L, L, L Devil look, L Deville. I'm gonna say L Devil, L Deville. I'll say L Deville. <laughs> Sweet boy, added that. <laughs> um, and it is, I mean, it's definitely Calliope. I like that they kept their face, they kept their drag face, but also incorporated the basic idea of that El Deville look. Calliope has such a has such beautiful eyes that you like you can recognize her without like you know it's Calliope like no matter what the makeup is like that's a good thing. I it's an, it's almost an exact replica of the look and mm -hmm. like clearly she was inspired so um great job this week um I love it. even the detail of the the white with the white and black uh top part like the clothes yeah. like it's the it's the same as the the original look you can see it mm -hmm. so yeah it's well done they took it all the way down they did it yes go all the way down the neck <laughs> yes excellent job calliope Okay, so we're gonna move on to Kieran Bradley next, and he did a Banks Elliott inspired look. Um, very surreal looking, um, and it's grunge, it's punk. Um, a little spin that Kieran did on it, which I liked, is this like little rhinestone snot thing yeah. coming out of his nose. <laughs> it's amazing. I. I love like the colors giving are giving me like a sunset vibe like the yellow the pink the purple like it's a great color combination um it's yeah the snot is amazing and I think it's dripping on the lips as well yeah oh it is it's going all the way down the lip yeah like that's that's how you do a crystallized snot Kieran I love this look yeah good you did you did a very very good job um yeah, and I love the the thing coming out of the eye, like just on top mm -hmm. of the eyes. It's it's like yeah. a is it a brow like? Um, I hold tight, hold please. I need to zoom. It looks like it's actually an eyelash. Oh, in that case, it's even better. But but we're thirsty though. Here, take a sippy boo for the children. Say it. What are you? You are breathtaking. <laughs> 
All right, so speaking of thirsty, we have Giallo Tofana uh, with their Lawrence Cheney. Lawrence Cheney. Lawrence Cheney. King spin on this iconic horror look. It is Giallo, hardcore Giallo. And I love the 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 mask, the the stitched beard, the the eye mask. I mean, it's just dumb. I'm just gonna shut up and let you gush for a bit because. Oh yeah, I, I'm a big Lawrence Cheney fan. So the fact that they that Giallo did a, a drag king tw twist with Lawrence Cheney is just fierce as f from head to toe. Like we don't see the toes, but like from head to waist. Uh, it is just insane. I love it. And I think, I was going to say, I'm going to give this a toot, but that's not the right show. <laughs> <laughs> wrong show, wrong show. But we'll, we'll give a little bit of a toot. That's fine. Um, all right. So we're going to go over to Placebo. And uh, she did uh, Ashni Ashniko? Uh, Ashniko cover? I, again, another album cover, but a totally different take. Um, taking kind of a CG computer generated art piece of art and putting it upon a real face. Uh, I, I think Placebo is amazing. Like those tears are like, how did they do this? I have no idea. Oh my God, I'm stripping. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, honestly, yeah. I'm in love with this look. It's just so good. Like the, mm -hmm. they did a cartoon. Um, they look like a cartoon. I love it. And I have no idea how in the world she did those tears. I, it's flawless. It's absolutely flawless. And pulling that all together, that that takes major skill and awesome job, placebo. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go to Liz V. Uh, she did a Phases of the Moon, uh, kind of mashed up with Agape as well. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, Agape, we see you a lot today. Yeah, I love it. And again, different takes on um, artists. And that's really, really cool how someone can inspire you in a different way. Yeah. And, I think it's uh, amazing. I love the colors. Again, with the sun, a sunset vibe, mm -hmm. um, the the drawings like on the chest, the like the the circle with the moons, the the kind of lightning. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, and I love the combination with their hair. The, the this brown hair looks amazing with these yeah. colors. Um, okay, so Tony the doll. <laughs> it's breathtaking. I'm already gonna say it. Breathtaking. Uh, inspiration is just this sweet little pink flower and she took it and put it all over her face, did it in the background, and she is laying in a field of flowers. This, it's amazing. Like the, the wig, the, the wig, I, I have a thing for like blonde wigs. I don't know if y'all, you can see like, I love this shade of blondish platinum, the pink, like the face is fierce. The we see the flower. It's not the same, but we get to see the kind of inspiration uh, on the forehead. The mm -hmm. eyes are amazing. Okay, so uh, speaking of juicy, <laughs> our good friend. <laughs> we have uh, Versailles Von Ives uh, with his, he says his most expensive look. He looks so expensive and I have to agree. I would hate to uh, drop him in a China shop and see how much that was gonna cost to buy. <laughs> yeah, wow. He looks flawless. Um, he did a, a take on uh, Bodacious, another drag king. I love it. Um, the, it really looks expensive. This is well painted. The detail, the like, the gold that, that's that's like all around the white part of the face. Wow. It's the eyes are it's amazing. I love it. I really, really love it. I enjoy it mm -hmm. as well. Um, and the paint is flawless and the the detail work is phenomenal and is so cohesive and beautiful. I love it. it. Is. 
it is it is breathtaking. There, I'm saying it, but I have nothing to drink. But I have. <laughs> um, all right, so the next we have Ryan Rochi, and he did a dry in Bautista as well. Um, and this with a um a monstera plant as the inspiration, the nature element for this. What do you think? Um, I love it. It they they really took their own like aesthetic. Like mm -hmm. it's not an exact replica. Like we've seen amazing like almost copies mm -hmm. of of some looks, but this one it, like it's not a flower. It's like a plant. Yeah, so plant. I think that the fact that they didn't go for the exact same thing is a really good idea. So uh, great mm -hmm. job with that. I love how. You're all, all of your body's green. Uh, the, I, I really love it. It's amazing. The mate, like the, the darker parts. Mm -hmm. I, I can't say what, what they, what they are because it's just so unique. Yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. Um, it's pulling the plant element into it, but the way that the contour is on the face is it's using, using his face, yeah. and then. But it's almost like bringing in the leaf work to the contour as well. And that's really cool. Um, and then uh, finally, we have Tucker Fancy. Um, and also, I didn't say this last week, but we're both from South Carolina, which is pretty darn cool. South Carolina represent. <laughs> and Tucker, Tucker uh, said uh, that their inspiration was a bunch of stuff. And yeah. It was pulled together, and I tell you what, if I tried to pull all this stuff together, it would look like um, one of those dream boards that my mom tells me to do every now and then. But Tucker made it a look, honey, a look. Yeah. They, uh... they incorporated musculature. They uh, incorporated heat maps. Uh, they did a little mermaid spin. I mean, there's all this stuff to it, but you know, here's the thing is that if you have a good makeup and you know you have a good makeup, the look of joy on Tucker's face yeah. is what makes this look. It is just pure joy. Their face is relaxed. They're like, I know I look good, honey. And I am feeling myself in this look. And if that that's the smile the joy that's emoting and it's like it makes me tear up a little bit just because just i don't know <laughs> it just makes me happy the details like if you know me you know i like a good detailed look and this is like the muscles are colorful like mm -hmm. they were it, it can be scary to just go ahead and use all these inspirations i really i really enjoy this like they went in and in and in and in. It's breath mother effing taking. <laughs> Everyone did an amazing job. Um, but which one was your favorite this week, Crystal? I'll let you go first. Um, can it be a tie? Sure. There's no rules to this. <laughs> uh, because I have a very, I have a, trouble choosing between Bex and, well, it's actually the first and the last. Bex and Tucker, you are both my favorites this week. Like, I love them all, but mm -hmm. they just did something that I I didn't expect to, to see. And um, I would have to say that my favorite this week was Versailles. Um, I really, really like how he took a makeup concept and really elevated it to Versailles um, and, and made it his own. I really, really liked that. And you can tell that it's Versailles um, just from the, the polish and the, the look of it all. So uh, that is my favorite this week. So uh, with that being said, no eliminations this week, but we have to crown a winner and the winner is Disastrous Dose! Ah, well done! Yes! Yes! Congrats. <laughs> well done, 
baby. Well done. Good job. All right. So week one is done. She is in the books. Uh, be sure to come back next week for challenge number two. Ooh, so exciting. Yeah. Yes. And um, Crystal, thank you so much for joining us on Second Coat. You are such a joy. I adore well, you. Thank you for having me. It's it's an honor to be here. Uh, I'm glad I could. I was able to be a part of Painted Out this season uh, on Second Coat with you. Thank you. Um, all the artists are amazing. What a great way to start a season. Uh, good job. And yeah, thank you. Yes, thank you so much. And uh, be sure to check out uh, Crystal's um, YouTube channel, her Instagram. She's got music. She is talented. Follow the doll. Follow the doll. Look at her. Look at her. Mm, look at her. Um, and I have been Liam Lappin, or I am Liam Lappin. I'm not have been. <laughs> rather and uh thank you guys so much for tuning in and we will see you next week bye goodbye